of them make the grave mistake because when they, they retire, they say, I'm going to go in business. How do you go in business? The rest of your life, you were working on a desk. How do you become a businessman? Do you know that business is a calling? And when you start business, you make mistakes. You lose money. And if you are a retiree, the last thing you want to do is lose money. That's why you find so many retirees are destitute. If you are here, let me give you free advice. Don't go into business. You are not a businessman. You say, Bishop, what do I do? What you do is look for something which needs minimum supervision. Buy a house and put it on rent. Buy one or two cheaper houses. Put them on rent. Eat from one. Live in the other. Then you are fine. That's all. That's wisdom. That's wisdom. You have never been a businessman. How are you going to be a businessman? These smart guys who just trick you. Lose everything. Now, let me give you five points. Five points. If you forget what I've said, remember this. As you are watching on television, I want you to remember these five points. How do I build on the rock? How do I build in such a way that whatever I build will last? Number one, build a strong relationship with God. Put God first in your life. Love and honor God. As your career grows, increase your prayer level. Increase your word level. Increase your giving level. Many of us, we forget that we start with God. When we prosper, we want to leave God out. But you started with God. I want you to understand that when God begins to lift up, lift you up, you are going to meet new devils. You are going to fight new battles. You are going to meet uh, more new things that you never met before. But if you can be strong in God, God will be your anchor. God will be able to hold you in any situation that you go through. Am I preaching to someone today? I want you to understand that. Build on God's. One of the terrible things that happens is that, you see, when God begins to bless people, they get excited and they become too busy for God. As I've been pastoring, that's one of the things I noticed. As we have prayed for people, God has blessed them. We no longer see them. They tell us we are very busy. We are doing ABCD. Uh, the company depends upon me. And the next thing, after six months, we hear a call from, from UTH. I'm in the intensive care. I'm one of your members. Please come quickly. And when we get there, we find the tubes are all over. And we don't even have where to lay hands on you. I came to tell you, build on God. Let God be first. Be like Joshua and say, as for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. Be like the psalmist. He said, give me enough that I may eat, that I may not deny you. As God blesses you, draw closer to him. Grow closer to him in prayer. Grow closer to him in, your word, in the word. Meditate and be close to him as he blesses you. Build with God. Number two. Number two, build strong character. A gift will, will open doors for you. A gift will take you anywhere. But you need character to keep you there. Many people who are athletes, many people who have succeeded, they have succeeded overnight and they've dropped like a sack because there was no character to keep them there. Build character. Three things about character. I want to give you three things that will help you because we can't go into a lot of details. But I want to give you three things about character. Number one, be a man or a woman of integrity. Be honest. Be trustworthy. Let your words be your honor. If you are going to build your business on deceit, one day it will fall. If you are going to build anything on corruption, it will not stand. 
Whatever you build on crookery, it will never stand. Be an honest person. Character means that you honor your promises. You stand by your word. You are trustworthy. You are transparent. That's why you find many businesses, they don't go far. Because they are not built on character. Number two, we are still looking at the character. Discipline. Discipline. Have the grace to exercise self-control. This is the ability to master your feelings and desires. Be principled. Don't move by the wind. Anything that goes, you are, you are there. No, 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 no. Have self-control. There are things which you can say, this one I cannot do. There I cannot go. I am a principled man. I'm a principled woman. So be somebody. Thirdly, live a holy life characterized by purity. You see, a man or a woman who fears God and departs from sin. So those three things, integrity, purity, discipline, they form the character. They form the character. That will stand the test of time. If you are that kind of a person, you find...